Hello everyone and welcome. My name's Samantha if you're new here. I go by Thrifty on a Dime on all social media platforms and on my channel I talk things resell as well as different ways to make money online as well as locally. So whether you're looking for full-time, part-time, or maybe just a supplemental income, be sure you do subscribe to my channel. I have all kinds of videos that are coming out for you guys on tips, tricks, motivation, positivity, so be sure you subscribe. Today is gonna to be a different video than I normally do. My mom introduced me to furniture flipping. So I just wanna share with you some flips that I have made um, since starting this new venture, furniture flipping. Uh, so if you're not familiar, basically, furniture flipping is when you buy something, um, repurpose it, or even just buy it and flip it right then. I My mom hasn't had instances where she's bought stuff in a different town, brought it to our town, and flipped it for triple what she paid for it. So furniture flipping is whenever you get something for free, you buy it, whatever it is, and you pay a certain amount or it's free and then you flip it for more profit. So I'm really excited because honestly, it's bigger profit margins and it's nice because it's stuff that I'm not gonna have to ship. So normally with my online businesses, I do have to ship items and mail them out. And it is kind of time consuming doing the shipping as well as inventory and storing. But with the furniture flipping, um, yes, it does take up a little bit more room and I kind of have a little bit extra space to be able to do that, especially now that I um, rented a storage unit to put my business in. So I have a little bit more room, but also the items have been flipping like within two days. So it's not like stuff that I've had to hold on to for a month or two months, kind of like clothing on Poshmark or whatever other site, just because there isn't a you know, a flooding of clothing and stuff. So it's been nice that it's been higher profit margins. It does sell quicker for me. I don't have to ship it. So it's just something I'm gonna be adding onto what I'm already doing as a reseller now, but it's nice because it takes, um, I feel like less, I don't know, less work or not really less work because some of the pieces do require, you know, to, you to put in some work into it. But if you're interested in me repurposing um, some furniture and showing you guys what I'm doing because it's like really sim simple and I think anybody can really do it. So if you're interested in that, be sure you drop it in the comments below because I would love to make a video for you. I'm just not really sure. Um, I don't know everything yet about it, but hey, you know, we can learn it together, guys. <laughs> I've been watching all kinds of YouTubers and really just trying to figure out um, this new venture because I feel like knowledge is key. So whatever you're trying to learn, submerge yourself into it. And I feel like you're gonna learn all kinds of things that you would have never thought of because you watched this person and they just showed you this really cool trick. So we can all learn from everybody no matter where we're at in our journey. Um, for now, I really wanna show you this machine building. Uh, this is not mine, I little disclaimer, this is my mom's, but this is what inspired me to start furniture flipping. And I just kinda wanna show you how she has her set up so that you guys can see um, maybe you wanna do it for yourself. So let's go ahead and show you guys. So I'm gonna kind of show you, it's kind of chaotic in here right now, but this is all the extra inventory, not extra, but the stuff we're working on and she's working on is all the stuff in the back, all that furniture piece. And then I'm gonna walk around and show you where we take pictures, right here. So what she does is she'll just kind of set stuff up to make it look homey and then she will take pictures. So this is her staging area and it's really simple. She can move stuff in, move stuff out and take pictures of it, set it up with all of her little knickknacks, all these little things that are sitting around here to kind of stage it. So if you are looking to furniture flip, I would definitely suggest getting you an area that you can set up to stage stuff because it does sell for more. This bench was picked up for $15, just took a little bit of paint and it flipped for 65 within one day. So these were picked up for $20 each. Funny story, I actually went there thinking it was 20 for both, but they were so nice, I decided to pay the 40. I sold them for 125 within a day and a half. I picked this one up for $10 and I flipped it within three days for $85. I found this piece for $20. I haven't sold it yet just because I might keep it. It's a gorgeous hand carved piece. So this piece turned out great, but this would be a piece I would not buy again. Do not buy the drop down leaf tables. 
with the metal like claw feet I just feel like they're harder to sell than other tables but with that being said I paid $40 and sold it for $150 I forgot to get a good picture of these before but these were all $30 and this was kind of a bad buy I would not buy these again I didn't realize they were actually compressed wood instead of real wood but they did turn up okay, and I was able to sell them for $135. And this is an example of how you can stage them. Okay guys, I am back on camera. So some tips for furniture flipping would be to try and keep your cost of goods as low as possible. And things that I've learned is try to not get the pieces that are gonna require a lot of sanding, a lot of elbow grease, unless you're doing it for fun or it's a high profit, profitable item, just because what I found is it's not really worth it um, for cheaper items to be spending hours on it. So I've been lucky enough that I have gotten really good items and have flipped them for really a good profit margin for just starting out because some people um, just starting out aren't able to get as much until they kind of revamp their style and stuff. But I have been doing a lot of research. I also had my mom to help me. And as you can see in the background here, she has quite a bit of research, um, not research, but she has quite a bit of knowledge on uh, flipping furniture. So she taught me, but little story, love my mom but it's funny because i actually started reselling over six years ago and she thought i was crazy my whole family did they're like that's not a real job you're just hoarding you know don't do that you know get a real job everything you can think of they weren't really seeing what i was making you know i would flip a coat that i bought for four dollars for 450. i mean the reselling possibilities is endless you just have to search and you have to kind of research um, over the years, she kind of got that, hey, I'm really doing this. So a couple years ago, she actually reached out to me and she wanted to start reselling clothing. I showed her what I did. She got the whole setup, the whole shebang, which I was like, uh, you should wait, you know, until you're really selling clothes to buy the light and buy the setup. But she wanted to. So I was like, all right, let's do it. And she started getting all these great items, but then she would have a money pile. What is a money pile? It's when you are able to find good items, but you're not able to get them all posted and you just keep buying and keep buying. So now you got this pile of basically just investment and money just sitting here. And that's what she had. So then she contacted me, hey, would you sell these for me? So then I ended up taking all of her clothing, all of her shoes, all that, and doing that for her because she just was not interested in it she was telling me how good she was doing with this furniture and you know she's like sometimes i don't even have to do any work and i literally just flip it you know same or next day just by picking it up in one town and bring it to the next town so for a while i was like oh that's great you know i'm doing one of my own thing you can do your own thing that's great we both are doing our own things but she kept telling me and kept telling me and it really sparked my interest. Um, so now I am kind of dabbling into the furniture. So it's kind of cool that um, different interests for different people. So my point of this story is telling you, you may not be interested in furniture flipping or you may not be interested in reselling used clothing. Maybe you just wanna do new clothing. Maybe you just wanna do shoes. Maybe you just wanna do video games. I promise you there is an avenue for you. So whatever it is, figure it out and there's somebody on YouTube that you can learn from. Multiple people, honestly. YouTube, Instagram, blogs, you name it. I promise you there is enough information out there for you to learn whatever it is you're wanting to do. So I hope you liked this video. It really wasn't a whole lot except for just sharing um, what I'm doing. I'm going to be putting out more videos for you guys so if you found this interesting be sure you do like it subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comments below if you would love to see me do some furniture flipping so as always guys i hope you all have a beautiful day night whatever it is and thank you so much for watching